What's going on YouTube? It's Nickelodeon and I'm back with another video. This is part three of the Kanika Jenkins story. So apparently there was another video that surfaced the internet that had a guy come right behind Kanika Jenkins. So they show the footage of Kanika Jenkins wandering in the hallway and then she disappears and I believe it it was some other action going on at the other end of the hallway. It looked like it was a girl um, and a guy. And then a few minutes go by. Kanika's out of the camera at this point. They show Kanika walking towards the camera and then she's out of the camera. A few minutes goes by and then they show a guy come in and he's walking right behind Kanika in the same direction that she disappeared off camera. So, word is that a lot of the footage that came out, at, you know, right after the story was first heard, was edited. So, they saying, like, the guy was in the, he was in the film all along, but the pictures were edited. So, it's still a mystery as to what happened to this girl. Is this guy that they showed in the video the killer? And also, then there was a Facebook live video of a guy, I believe he was in Chicago, where the incident actually happened, and he's, like, filming, like, in a regular neighborhood, like, talking, like, ha, 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 like, I got away, like, y'all ain't getting me, and, you know, basically just showing off the, you know, because he got away with it. He got away with killing her. And they don't know where he's at. You know. And the guy is. The guy still is not caught. So. It's it's really crazy. It's, it's word that. Um, Kanika had a hit. A hit out on her. They said something about. I'm hearing that her brother. I believe it was either her brother. Or her cousin. Um, had some beef with some gang members and hmm, her cousin and they had some beef with her gang members some gang members and it was a hit put out on Kanika and that, and, and that was the reason why she was killed so it sounds getting me and you know basically just showing off the you know because he got away with it he got away with killing her and they don't know where he's at you know and the guy is the guy still is not caught so it's it's really crazy it's it's word that um Kanika had a hit a hit out on her. They said something about. I'm hearing that her brother. I believe it was either her brother or her cousin. Um, had some beef with some gang members and hmm, her cousin. And they had some beef with her gang members. Some gang members. And it was a hit put out on Kanika, and that and and that was the reason why she was killed. So, it sound, it's definitely gang related. So, it, you know, the story keeps twisting it. It went from you thinking a teenage girl goes into the hotel, has a hotel party with her friends, gets way too drunk, and then she ends up wandering into this freezer and passing out and dying. Cut, close, you think that's the end of the story. Then more footage comes out of her wandering the hallways, stumbling drunk, and then they still have no evidence or no footage showing her walking into the freezer herself. So, 
you know, it's still, the story keeps twisting, and then they say, I'm sorry, but, you know, we have footage of her wandering in the kitchen, and she was drunk, it is a good possibility that she walked to Zach Freeza herself. Now, this talk that it was actually a hit out on Kanika, and it was gang-related, and that's the reason why the guy was paid the $2,000, and, and then she ended up dating. So, it's all kinds of twists and turns to the story, you know, and I just, I really see the story as getting deeper and deeper. I really hope that this guy gets caught and this case gets solved. I feel bad for her mother. I feel bad for her family. Rest in peace, Kanika Jenkins. And I just hope that your murder is solved. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Yeah, what? Or is it controlling me? Yeah.